Hi, everyone. Um, we've got Yanaman Nalan here. How's it, Yanaman? Um, well batted. Um, can you just take me, uh, take us through your through your innings? What was that like? Um, and how did you feel after after reaching that hundred and then hundred and fifty as well? Yeah. Um, obviously, as an opening batter, you just want to get see where you are after the first ten overs. Um, obviously, you can have a get a good ball or whatever. Um, then me and Kuni just started to build the partnership um, after the previous game. Uh, that was just a key point. The team asked for 100. Uh, luckily, we could give them two. Um, then me and Queen was just building. And when he went, um, the next KPI, if you want to call it, was just having an in batter there at the end. Um, so just by filling in those roles, uh, this, it happened by itself. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I was glad I was glad to to help the team to be, be, be able to maximize the end overs as well that we were looking for actually in the previous game. So I had I had a really quick question for you. Um, so so since the second game was uh, was was a tough loss, um, there was, there obviously was pressure on. So I want to know what's your secret to dealing with pressure and how you turn up in in these important games like this. By the way, excellent innings. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I think there's always pressure um, on this level specifically, but. You just want to simplify it as, as, as well as you can. Um, and I just broke it down into what's my job? What can I do? What can I control? Um, so just to break it down ball for ball, am I in a good position? How's my intensity? Um, where are we at in the innings? Um, just being able to have presence of mind as well. And then you simplify it instead of looking at the big picture, like we can't lose this match. We don't want a, a series loss against Ireland. Um, yeah, it was that kind of simplifies it. Yeah, how's it going? Congratulations on the knock today. How's it going? Just on, uh, you touched on it in the after-match press conference. Uh, what's it like batting with Quinny and how, how does that settle you? And, and and can you see yourself doing that long-term with him in, in white ball cricket for South Africa? Yeah, we obviously, Cape Town Blitz partners, um, I really enjoy batting with him. Um, I think... I think, um, yeah, he brings he brings out uh, we, the best the best out of me as a batsman, um, and obviously, if I could decide, I want that's that's um, I want to partner with if selected for all the remaining ODI games that we can. Um, but that's yeah, it's not up to me. Just have to take it game by game. But um, it's definitely, it would be a dream partnership for me. Can he? Yeah, brilliantly batted, uh, Yanaman. Just to uh, follow up on the bias question, really, um, and what you've just said about if selected, um, you haven't been a regular in the side, but uh, you now have an absolutely phenomenal record. Um, sometimes guys, you know, coming in at the top of the order, if you know you're kind of playing for your place, you haven't been in the team all the time, uh, you're obviously trying to get into the team, trying to cement your place, that can make you a little anxious and, and maybe you don't play with your your normal freedom. I mean, I mean you just look so calm and composed and, uh, you know, you, you looked as if you've been in the side for the last five years. How, how do you do that? Yeah. Um, obviously on this level, you don't know how many games you're going to, going to have. And um, if I think I just made it so clear to myself mentally that if I, if I'm not playing, I want to, I want to go out on my own terms. So I'm going to play the way I play. I'm going to back it. I'm not going to play in, in desperation for my spot because then it's going to be difficult anyway. So I'm just going to, that, that's where I also kind of let go and just do what I do and do it as best as I, as well as I can. And if that's not good enough, then, then I can deal with that. But um, I want to go out on my own terms. Talfit, and then we'll close with Lloyd. How's it going? Very well played. Um, one of the previous times you did something special, you inspired your brother to write a quite amazing piece on, 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 on what you've done. And I'm just interested to know, you know, will there be a Milan brothers debrief of your readings or, or you know, what are you going to say? Is there, is there going to be a, a, a celebration of those innings in print from your brother or how will the Milans handle it? Yeah, um, we're obviously very happy for each other's successes as a family. And um, yeah, sometimes my brother, 
um, gets inspired by moments like this and puts pen on paper and then something beautiful gets gets created but um that's up up for him to decide um if he writes i'm sure it'll be beautiful whatever he writes makes sense and is very deep and very it makes you think um um and yeah so i don't know that's up to him but um we're always very happy for each other other successes nice thanks sips well uh yellow man um, I'm not sure if at any stage uh, in, in your innings you were you were eyeing out a, a South African record for the for the highest score in an ODI. I finished 11 runs short of that, and it's a long-standing record. Um, was that ever uh, on your radar at all? No, I, um, I'm afraid I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just some batters or people can tell you when you just sometimes you're in a zone and you just in the moment. Um, it's a weird, I think it's called the flow, the flow state. And I think I was in it, so I didn't even, I was just watching the ball and playing. <laughs> Sorry. Next time. Thanks <laughs> everyone for joining us. Uh